All right, hello everyone. My name is Vodkin, and welcome back to Batman Telltale. Now the third, no wait, is it the third? No, it's the second episode. Second episode just came out today. I had to do some stuff uh, at work, but now it's downloaded, and now we can jump into episode dos. Last time we, uh, oh well, they'll probably do a, a recap. So here we go. I wonder what's gonna happen this episode, cause last time shit got crazy. from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports. Nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Then reinstate Gordon, yeah. Then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? You're asking me to spy on people. Persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I can't risk it. Bruce Wayne is my cover. There's a reason I keep my identity a secret. The wrong person finds out. It's all over. I hear you loud and clear. But it didn't stop Bruce Wayne from dealing with a thug like Maury. In public. Oh. Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons. This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Yeah, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. See, Gordon and I were cool. Let's move, people. This is what we trained for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech on the other west side is under siege. 
Man, shit's really going down now. Last season, it had like a few episodes before st shit started going down all over the city. This one's like, nah, fuck it, we'll just do it live. And last time they name dropped Harley Quinn, so maybe we'll see her. In fact, I think she's actually in this episode. That's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Sleeper hold. Sleep. Whoa. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe. The really big. <clears throat> he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to. I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. You gotta go in quiet when it comes to stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, just about. Drop from above. <laughs> and screw your body, buddy. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> That's Bane. Nightmare. Much like yourself. But you can call me Bane. Whoop. <laughs> A man cannot win a war alone. Vicious disarm. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die alone. We'll see about that. Ooh. Go for those joints. Disarm the goon. <laughs> Knocking guys out left and right. I can see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro. Drop kick! Oh shit, he caught me. Screw you, Bane. Save your strength, man. This one is mine. Is he gonna pop the venom? Yes, he is. That is not a good sign. Oh, nice. I will give you a piece for death. If you take it. Holy shit. Where's the 
Where's that guy who helped me out? Not the backbreaker. This pain you're feeling, Batman. Telling shock. Okay, he didn't break my back. Although he might have with that throw. Looks like that venom's got a short. Yeah, it's got a short window. You all right, boss? You get him? There is nothing to fear, my friend. Keep your eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you to the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll be the bad way by the docks. Safe travels, my friend. We gotta get this guy to a hospital. Get Gordon over here. Batman? Batman, what's wrong? Damn. I'm surprised that that guy came back to help, but then we did save his life. And like I said, I trust Gordon more than I trust Waller. Especially with all the shady shit Waller's done over the years. All right, now that's how you begin an episode. Fight Bane, get our ass kicked, kick his ass a little. Can't believe how many of his goons I knocked out. Batman! Batman! Then say something if you can hear me. Gordon. Christ. Batman. Come on, help me. It won't move. Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off. Alright. Ready? This is what all those squats were doing. We're for it's moving. <laughs> Come on. The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Like, who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. Please be These careful, yeah. Declared war on our city. Tell them to be careful, Jim. Don't let them take any unnecessary risks. These men are dangerous. Montoya, update the APB information and remind all units to proceed with extreme caution. Don't need anyone else playing hero tonight. Yes, sir. Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. Oh, hell yeah, dude. You and me, we're nothing like her. I'll always have I'll your back. always have your back, Jim. Thanks, Batman. 
You don't know how good it is to hear that. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. Hell yeah, dude. Get to the back cave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham Brokerage House when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. Bullock, Harvey. Send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. There was nothing you could do, dude. You're locked up. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler, not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. He survived a lot. Like I said, I get what that guy's going through. Like, he feels bad that he feels like he could have done something. But there's literally nothing he could have done. He was stuck in, like, a holding cage. We all were. And I had to make a choice. And I had to sacrifice one guy. <coughs> Bruce! I'm, I'm fine. Really. You are not fine, Bruce. None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead or... Yeah, I'm sorry to put you through I'll that. I'll see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. We... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. We can weather this straw from... We will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. 
There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? Could it be John? Person pulled the trigger. Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs. Wait, is that Mr. Freeze? Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes. I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. It's for Nora. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. What happened here? Gotham brokerage. Ten million in Harley! Stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's Bob Barrick. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. That's a sledgehammer. Me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage, <clears throat> all by herself. All right, let's see. Guns, money, biotech. What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. I can use some help. Of course, I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. I know you told Waller you were reluctant to risk Bruce Wayne's cover. But I'm more worried about the risk to Batman, given your current condition. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting in. Yeah, I have to take the risk. What they're up to. John's hardly predictable, but it's a risk I'll have to take. He clearly sees something in you that appeals to him. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime. To pull the wool over their eyes. They'll want me as an ally, yeah. Has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. <laughs> Just a little smiley face. Isn't that where I uh, met Selena last Step time? Duck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Yeah, this is a place where those guys from... Uh, from the first episode, um, jump me, penguins, guys. Batman. 
I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Uh, okay. It feels... Uh, no, Willie, he's on your right. <laughs> Crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh <laughs> uh, I am... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to ignore what I heard. <clears throat> no harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense. Bruce. Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Yeah, that I could. Got the hell kicked out of me by your buddy. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. Let the clown lead you to pain, whatever it takes. Who left this for me? I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. Well, that's good. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. Did she leave it for me? So... Know it all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, murder, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but. Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, I don't think you did no, it. No, of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you know, killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Really like this interpretation of the Joker. I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No, of course not. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. All right, we'll take him up. Let's pinky swear. Pinky swear. Friends for life. Your relationship with John has changed. <laughs> she looks all freaked out. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think... Bothering my friend John. You got the wrong idea, buddy. You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. Are you calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Yeah, I'll just buy him a drink. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. Buys lots of medicine. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. <laughs> well, when you, when you put it that way. Thanks, Wayne. John won't forget that. <clears throat> Let's get 
out of here. <laughs> I didn't want to have to fight him because I'm not in the best shape. Oh, cool. They're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um, uh, one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. It's, it's an odd feeling. At first, I, I thought I had some kind of... Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna play into it with me. And, uh, are you in love with, with me? <laughs> but I hope uh, we can still be friends. Just the look on his face like, okay, so that was serious. disarming. You at least got to tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. <laughs> Almost got it. Oh, damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Uh, come on, come let me hotwire it. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. There she is. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. You'll make a mess. Real bright. Trust me, you don't want to do that. The mess will be awful. Maybe I like mess. No, no. Your brains are like red wine. The stain never comes out, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> Since when did you ever scrub a damn thing? Well, it was. I'm just Josh and your rich boy. <laughs> See, there wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <clears throat> <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure, I can take a joke. Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you, Bruce is a good sport. Puddin here says you're charming. She called her Puddin! To meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? We both hate the agency. The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. We should work together to get them off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. He played him like a Stradivarius. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. We're good friends. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't 
that cute. You're sweet on little old pudding. <laughs> Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Because I sure as hell can't see one. Bum, bum, bum. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. Well, crime is in my blood. Crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Wood. Got a little man crush on ya. <laughs> Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. It's the truth. Oh, you just made my day, <laughs> Bruce. I want you to know the feeling's mutual. <laughs> oh, Harley. <laughs> there she. Oh, my God. That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. Whoa. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Ba -ba -ba. Come on, put your lips on it. I Are can't tell. Uh... Cooties? Uh, no thanks. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'm a pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. <clears throat> You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises? Shit. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's face. okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Yeah. Jump when I say jump. You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well then. Let's get moving. Uh oh. -uh. Like the present. Joker's getting jealous. That's never a good sign. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. I really like this interpretation of Harley, you know. She's funny, but she's not like super ditzy, like how some other comics make her out to be. Like that whole thing of like, there's no bullet in the chamber and it turns out to be one. That's something Harley would totally do. Huh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in. On account of the attack. Yeah, sure thing. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. 
Business never uh, sleeps. For the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Kind of odd that, you know... Does that guy even work here? I'm kind of suspicious. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. <laughs> you really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to do this. You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior, and give me a hard time. Mm, I might have to go back and finish the job. I like how she has like the little yeah, smiley face. A very good guard, anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked down will teach him a lesson. Did anyone see you do that? Uh, fancy joint like this probably has cameras. Hope they got my good side. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. And Harley figured you'd want some company. Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybag? I don't want anyone else getting hurt. Fine. But no one else gets hurt. You got a strange set of priorities for someone who wants on my good side. I get it, Bruce. You're the boss. You don't turn your back on your people. Even when they're useless. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens. The power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get quite a kick. If you work hard, I'm gonna keep flattering him. Stay on his good side. Work really hard? Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh, come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. You gotta give him credit for that. Together, puts all that slushy you drink has got you. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Fashion consultants, They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We are gonna revamp this whole place. Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees. It won't happen again. Whenever they want. No, I'm sorry, Harley. It won't happen again. That's for damn sure. There's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll... We'll talk about this later, Bruce. Mm -mm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. Uh-oh. 
The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else he can do with those hands? Ba -ba. Let's just stay focused. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? Bruce is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? Uh, I feel bad for him. He's not quite the Joker yet. He's like the proto jerk Joker. You know, he's not quite the Joker yet. Wait he's. Here. I'll be right back with Forget you. it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. <clears throat> Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. All right. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Switching the knight and the king around. So it's interesting that they're having Harley work at Blackgate instead of Arkham like in her debut. Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. Uh, Lucius. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Somehow, I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. All right. It's probably like a new code or something. Lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Of all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Well, let's see Let what we can do. Latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. Well, he has plenty of, like, files out, so there's got to be something here. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Maybe on the keyboard. People use keyboards a lot more than anything else. All right, that's a start. Okay, it looks like I gotta rebuild it print by print. dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Probably on the pen. Or the photo. Getting there. All 
All right. One more partial print should do it. Okay. So where what else would I find something of uh, Lucius's to scan? Maybe another file or the MP generator? Yahtzee! Okay, this will work. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Harden, uh, like, it's kind of crazy that Harley knows this stuff. But then again, you know, this is a different Harley than we're used to. Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Oh shit, Tiffany's in here, isn't she? Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your dad worked for a Batman. Worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it. His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, no need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your uh, friend here. This will be our little you secret. Don't have to say anything to her, John, okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley. But I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. I'm asking you to trust me. Come on. Remember? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Relationship with Tiffany has changed. You better know what you're doing. Took you long enough? I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. You boys did good, you know? Made Mama proud. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up.
Alfred's got PTSD after what had happened. Are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was a masterstroke, Bruce. Still, that young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. I'll be as honest as I can. Right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. Yeah, you should relax, Alfred. Easy, Al. Get some rest. It's only a momentary bit of exhaustion. I'm sure it will pass. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane, but this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Batman. Knew it! Well, be careful, and good luck. Even though I'm messed up eight ways from Sunday, I'm gone. Gotham needs me. It needs the Batman. Like I said, I needed to get Tiffany to give me that without letting Harley know she was there. John is cool with me. Harley, on the other hand, has a lot of problems. Those things will kill you. Will kill you. <coughs> Consider quitting. Ah, uh, you sound like my daughter. Barbara! Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Thank you for this, Jim. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Tragedy can twist you. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need Give it a rest, Waller. The message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. She knows who I really am. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh yeah? Well, so do I. 
You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. This is the job. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job, or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood, wanted to see you, her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important. She succeeded. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you, it's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. Mistakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. They haven't accepted me yet. So it was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. Lupin Gordon. To involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. <laughs> I already got one. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations... I won't betray my code. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. <coughs> Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. <laughs> He's got a Jacksepticeye hat. All right. Here we go. Knocked me out so they couldn't, uh, so I couldn't see where they took me. Hey now! Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. 
You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Well, um, you need what me. I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. Who the hell wants to do hard work? I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You? You bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this. Thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and a failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? John, <laughs> turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's Freeze. Freeze is coming. Oh, oh shit. It is Freeze. You need to uncover. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. I swear. Turn it off. If you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. Okay, and then this one. And then, uh. Shit, okay. Turn on this one. Switch. Okay, switch this one off. This one comes off too. Okay, first sequence matched. Okay, so this one's gotta turn green. That one's gonna go red. This one's gotta go green, and the rest go all red. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. It's kind of weird seeing Harley take the reins, but it's also like a refreshing pay, uh, change of pace. Usually she's the one following what other people are doing. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us, back at your office. I don't blame you, after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit, and, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees, I know they probably mean a lot to you. Apology accepted. You, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long, I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of... You're smarter than I thought. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. 
Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though? You got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. Count me in. Man, just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat pain, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. Um, what's the story on Freeze? Freeze. He's unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. It's romantic. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, it's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Um, um, I'm sorry about your father. I know about your father. About how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? No. I lost a parent, too. I lost my parents, too. I know the story. Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. But don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. I learned it in Arkham. It's exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Still friends? Yeah, still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just don't bring it up again. Ah, uh, that's a really sore subject for her. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show him you got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. All right, we learned everything we're gonna learn from these guys from Harley. Let's talk with Mr. Freeze first. Maybe we can do something with Nora and see if maybe we can help him out. Maybe get him some money or access to Wayne Tech that can help her out. Because that's the only reason he ever does anything. See, in the original story when Mr. Freeze first came out, he was just a guy with a freeze gun that loved to rob banks and cause trouble and stuff. But it wasn't until the Batman animated show that came out in the 90s that they reworked the story into making him more like, you know, human, more sympathetic into trying to fix help his wife. All right, try, I'm going to try and stay away from Bane cuz Bane does um, find out who Batman's secret identity is. 
So I'm going to try and stay away from him until I actually have to talk to him. But I don't want to give away too much. <coughs> I heard about your wife. And I... Whoa! Hear me out. I might be able to help. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart. Your love is admirable. Well, that kind of love is rare. My wife followed your goings on in the society columns, Wayne. You are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? Ba -ba -ba -bam. She deserves a chance at life. Technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Your wife deserves it, right? The innocent deserve our protection. You're right about that much. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bane? I don't know. Go talk to him. <laughs> Good luck. Well, there's the EMP generator. So now we gotta go talk with Bane, but you know, we got on Mr. Freeze's good side, which is a good thing because like I said, Mr. Freeze isn't a bad guy. He's only doing this to, you know, help out his wife. And a lot of people would do that. <coughs> it's like, what would you do if like someone you loved had been in the similar situation? Machismo! And now I see where Bane gets his fashion sense. I was hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch, Wayne. Alright, he wants some beer. <coughs> John's house. I well, see that this is the only place I can go into. Again, I love how we're seeing like the formation of the Joker. He's not the Joker yet that would flip out because of what Harley does or says. Hey, buddy, it's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before and your office and making me look good. Hey, I'm just glad everything worked out. Did it ever? Handing that key over to Harley, giving her what she wanted. Pure ecstasy. <laughs> it, yeah, it was a big moment for me. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> when it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Oh, you're my life, then. Wow. Then I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you'd do the same for me. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. All right. Prisca. Bane loves that beer. 
I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. All right. Hey, it's our picture. Or a picture. <laughs> now that's funny. Think she really brightens up the room? A thousand watt face. How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. An empty space. You have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. What's not to like? I only oh. saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh, man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. Sorry about that. My headset was about to die. Okay, out we go. We got Bane a beer. And it looks like he's punching those um, tractor tires pretty good. Have you ever punched a tractor tire? Those things are thick. You punch right and it's going to hurt. All right. Now let's go get Bane this stupid beer. Wonder if it's any good. I mean, it's Santa Priest gun, which means it's imported. Just thought you looked thirsty. <clears throat> Please, come. Whoa! Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I bombed their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me. No, I'm after the agency. I will break you in half. The payback I want is with the agency. They wronged me, and now I want to make it right. I'm sure you understand. Riddler studied this Waller woman profiled her. She is arrogant, presumptuous, and she won't see what we have planned coming. If you want to get back at the agency, we at least have that in common. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yes, men you can trust. So hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Hey! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. Prove it! Whoa! <laughs> he's fight. He's let. We're watching me fight. You showed him mercy. That was a mistake. Take him somewhere.
The package is moving. <clears throat> What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out? The aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands. Out. There may be more to Wayne than first appeared. You can be trusted. Ian. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. <laughs> like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world yeah. can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hind! All right. So now... I think we're coming towards the end of the episode. How long have I been recording? Eh, I've been recording for a while. I think I've been recording since about 11. So, yeah, it's about to be ending pretty soon. All right. Let's see where this takes us. I am genuinely excited for this. Wayne, we are close. Make your device ready. Will do. All right. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh -huh. What? No. You no. are providing our escape. Yeah. Waller. On the move with targets. Track this signal. Get your people here now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. <laughs> now we do this. Wait, what in the... I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Wayne! Do it! All right. What was that? What the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? Oh my gun, it's fried. All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp. Secure the vehicle! <laughs> Stay down! Your place is on the perimeter. Keep yeah, them. yeah. Freeze! Open the door! Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. Allow no sudden moves and no talk. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. <laughs> Back off! Or I'll shoot! No! 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 Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I would 
not turn my back on him. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here! So I wonder what the hell we're stealing. EMP. Remember? Walmer here. Let them have it, Wayne. What are you talking about? The package. Let them have it. It's not worth my agent's lives. <laughs> you can't be serious. You were supposed to be here. Break out the artillery and disable their vehicles. Well, damn it. Fix this all later. For now, just move it. Wall her out. I don't want to hurt you, but I will blow your heads off if you make me eat concrete. Lights out. <laughs> Ah, damn. Fire. Yep. I'm gonna play whack-a-mole with their heads. It's a warrior's death! Uh... Well, head off, Bane. God damn! Be careful not to get in my way. Secure the cargo. Oh shit, Harley got hit. And there's the bat signal. Maybe I should have helped Harley. Is that how it ends? Because it usually ends with like a big old like decision you have to make at the ending. I think that's the end. Tonight, Wade. Better than that yammering harpy. How could we leave her? We need to get Harley now. Impossible. She's dead or in jail. So we break her out. And if she's dead, you better hope she's not. We have to help her. She'll be expecting us. We'll she get her back. Needs us. We'll get her back, John. I promise. Great. Let's go. We have to go now. Right now. We don't have time to waste on her. But. But. That's enough. Save your breath. We have the cargo. Let's get this over with. So what was this whole thing for? You'll regret this, Bane. Forget him. We have a job to do. This key is yours, no? Open the box. Be quick. All right, what is in the box? Waller was willing to sacrifice a lot of people's lives in order to get this thing out. 
What the hell? It's Riddler's body! It is sad to see a legend so, but there is no other way. At least now, we finally have everything we need. Why? Riddler will open the path to us once the thief brings the last piece. I'll open any path for the right price. Catwoman? Holy shit. You know, I saw her in the th thumbnail for the next video for the... All right, you and 97% of players left Gordon feeling worried. He was glad when you called him to help you. He's honored to be working alongside you against Waller. Because you told him the truth, he is worried that Waller might expose your identity. Uh, you and 99.9% uh, of players left Waller feeling content. She was frustrated when you asked her to consider Gordon. She disapproved when you called Gordon instead of her to help you. But because you agree to work with her while undercover, your relationship with Wallard is positive. You and 54.4% of players left John feeling sad. He was overjoyed when you pinky swore never to lie again. He was intrigued by the way you underhand the underhanded way you handled Willie. But is heartbroken you let Harley get left behind. You and 99 and 77% of players left Tiffany feeling worried. She's surprised when you told her Lucius worked with Batman. She appreciated that you chose, you let her choose to trust you. You convinced her to trust you, but she's concerned for your safety. You and 16.7% of Alfred left. Alfred feeling stressed. He approved with your decision to be honest with Tiffany. He was ashamed when he noticed he need rest. Uh, your conversation with the parlor left them feeling burnt out. She liked how you efficiently you eff efficiently you retreat the phalanx case she was impressed that you managed to uncover information on her father but she feel because you fought with Bane instead of her she feels slighted okay it looks like I'm in the majority for quite a bit of these uh, did you call Gordon I called Gordon ba -ba -bam. let's see we called down Willie with a drink when he drew a knife on you. Try to resolve things peacefully with Willie, then he drew a knife on John. The players took down Wil uh, Willie when he drew a knife on John. 13, 24% of players took down Willie violently after he pulled the knife on him. You and 55% of players attempted to minimize casualties in the convoy raid by following Bane, undermining his rampage at every opportunity. We pinky swear to John. Are they gonna do like a next time on? Probably not. Yep, knew it. <coughs> That's the thing, they don't do the next time on. They used to do it for like the Batman ones, I think. Did they? Um, I know they do them for the Guardians ones, but I guess for this one, it sort of makes sense to, you know, but anyway, if you guys like this episode, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you dudes in the next video. Oh my god, I have no idea how this is going to turn out with the next episode. I don't even know when the next episode's coming out. You know, they said that this episode was supposed to come out in September, but then it's, you know, beginning of October. So, we'll get to that one when it comes.